What's up, Odooers, and welcome back. Every morning, I struggle with putting on identical socks, and it seems like Steve in our warehouse has a similar issue picking identical products for customer orders. That's where removal strategies come into play. Today, we're going to explore a couple of different removal strategies, FIFO, aka first in, first out. FIFO is useful when we don't want products sitting in storage for too long, like food, medicine, or industrial fluids. We'll deliver the first items that entered our stock. Using FIFO, let's say we received two shipments of paint at the warehouse, one in October and one in December. We make a sale for some paint in January, so we ship out the paint we received in October. Next is LIFO, aka last in, first out. LIFO is good for heavy items or products that don't expire, like furniture, office supplies, or even building materials. Using LIFO, let's say we receive two shipments of bricks at the warehouse, one in April and one in July. We make a sales order for some bricks in September, so we ship out the bricks we just received in July. Both of these methods use dates for the products that arrived in the warehouse and are set up in the product category or location. But hey, enough chit chat, let me show you how to set up LIFO and FIFO removal strategies to make sure the right products are rotated out. All right, here we are on our inventory dashboard. To use these removal strategies, we first need to enable lots and serial numbers, and we can do that by clicking configuration at the top, followed by settings. Then we just need to scroll down to our traceability section and make sure lots and serial numbers are ticked and enabled. In case you didn't know, lot numbers are used to track groups of products like cases of orange or gallons of paint. Serial numbers are used to track individual products like bottles of medicine or even vehicles. We're selling desks and lubricant, so we'll track both of those items using lots. All right, now let's scroll a little further down to our warehouse section, and here we need to make sure that storage locations is ticked and enabled, as well as multi-step routes. Storage locations allow us to store products in a specific place in our warehouse and set a removal strategy for each location. Multi-step routes, this feature provides more options for how products are moved around our warehouse, like setting a removal strategy. Now, both of these features must be enabled to use any removal strategy, so be sure to click save if you made any changes here. Okay, now I have to ensure the products are tracked by lots so I can track when the products arrive in our inventory. To do that, I'm just going to click products at the top, followed by products once again, and we're first going to take a look at our standing desk. First, we'll have to make sure that we have inventory tracking set to by lots, which we do. Awesome. Next, if we look into the category field, we can see that this is currently set to furniture slash office. Remember this for later. Let's go ahead and click our breadcrumb for products to return back to our product list page. And now let's take a look at our lubricant product. And here we can also verify this is also being tracked by lots. So we're all good there as well. Hello? Who's this? Oh, it's the receiving dock. Oh, we have some new desks? That's fantastic news. I'll check it out. So we just received some desks. Let's see what lot numbers we have by going to products followed by lots and serial numbers. So first thing we're gonna do on this page is remove this group by location filter, and instead we're gonna replace it with the group by product filter. From here, we'll expand the standing desk section. And here we can see all the different lots that are associated with our standing desk. This created on column here shows when the lot was created. We can go ahead and refer to these dates as arrival dates. We can tell the standing desks from lot one were received first, technically at December 1st at 1.17 p.m. And the last lot was lot three at 1.19 p.m. So if the standing desk removal strategy is LIFO, items from lot three are picked first. Now let's expand the lubricants product directly above here we can see that lot one arrived first, while lot two arrived last. 
If the lubricant's removal strategy is FIFO, items from lot one will be picked first. All right, now let's see these lots set up and see how these removal strategies can be put into action. Removal strategies can be configured either on the location itself or the product category. Let's start by setting a strategy for a location. Now let's say we're storing our lubricants on a shelf in the warehouse. If you weren't aware, lubricant sprays expire about after three to five years. Now I want to use the FIFO removal strategy to make sure the products that entered our inventory first are packed up and shipped out first. This way, our customers get the most out of the product. To do that, we're gonna to navigate to our storage location section by going to configuration and selecting locations. Then here, we're going to select shelf F from our storage locations. On this page, we're gonna scroll down to our logistics section, and here we have our removal strategy. Now, all we have to do is select first in, first out, or FIFO, and then click save. All done. Now, all delivery orders for products stored on this shelf are picked using FIFO. So we're storing our desks in another part of the warehouse. Now, because desks don't exactly expire, it wouldn't make much sense to move the desks we just received last out of the way so we can sell the desks from the lots that are stored behind them. Instead, we should sell the most recent lots first, meaning we should aim for the LIFO strategy for these desks. We can set this strategy on the product category. To do that, we're gonna click configuration followed by categories. And here, we're gonna click on our furniture office category. This is the product category that the standing desks are associated with. Remember? Of course you do. Then, in the force removal strategy section, we're going to select LIFO. Then, save our changes. And that's it. With our setup out of the way, let's start selling and see how products are automatically chosen for us. Here we are in our sales app and to create a new quotation, we're just going to click new in the top left corner. We're gonna add our customer Benjamin Phillip to the customer field and Benjamin wants to buy two new desks for his home office. So we're gonna click add a product and add two of our standing desks. And to be sure those desks move smoothly, he wants to add a can of lubricant. So we'll add that here as well. Now let's go ahead and confirm the quote. And then we're gonna click on this delivery smart button here at the top. Right off the bat, we can see that there are two standing desks that are automatically reserved in the quantity field. And when we look in the serial numbers field, I can see which lots are selected. Looks like we have lot three and lot two. When I click the details button next to the lots for the standing desk, I get this detailed operations pop-up window that gives me even more information, like the specific location these came from. So, remember that we're pulling desks from the last lots that arrived in stock. Look here, we have lot three and lot two. They were pulled first. Perfect. And because we're picking from the first in lubricants first, we have lot one for lubricant picked here. Just what we wanted. Pretty cool, right? Our FIFO and LIFO strategies are working just like we set them up. And there you have it. With some simple setup, you can get products off the shelves properly using the removal strategy of your choice. For more information on the other three removal strategies, check out our other videos. But until then, I'll see you next time, O-Doers.